is you go to data. That means you click data. The second step is you go to get and transform data. And then the third step is you click from table slash range. And then number four is a box will appear. And then once you press OK, you click OK. Number six is you will be navigated to, to Power Query. All right. So step number one is you click data. Okay. And then after that, you go to get and transform data. So once you go to get and transform data, the next step is you go to from table range. So you click the icon here. You will notice that a box will appear. So can you see the box over here? If you can see the box over here, maybe you can type number two in the chat box. Okay. So my friends from Malaysia, maybe you can type number two in the chat box. Okay. So of course, once you click OK, you will be navigated to Power Query. That means I click OK. So once I click OK, you will notice that you will go to Power Query Editor. Okay. So in this Power Query Editor, you have the football clubs or companies, as you may call it. And then you have 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift button. Okay. I'm going to click this. And if you notice in your keyboard, there's a button called shift button. So I'm going to click this and I press shift button. It means I'm highlighting this entire column. So can you see the column is being highlighted? If you notice this column being highlighted, maybe you can type number four in the chat box. Okay. So how I do is. I just click one, uh, one column and then I press shift. Okay, so the next step is I go to transform. So once I go to transform, now can you see the icon called unpivot column? If you can see unpivot column, maybe you can type number five in the chat box. Okay, in Malay language, five means lima. So maybe you can type number lima or five in the chat box. So if you notice, once I click unpivot column and then you notice that your data will be presented in this way okay so do you notice some difference if you notice some difference maybe you can type number six okay so just to repeat uh, repeat again so what i did was okay the first step is i just click on one column the first step is i click on one column and then in my keyboard i press the shift button and i click this why i press shift button because i want to highlight all these columns and then what next step is I go to unpivot column. So this unpivot column means it will change the five different columns and appear as one column. Okay. So do you notice this difference, my friends? If you notice the difference, maybe you can type number seven in the chat box. Okay. So of course you can actually name this. So I'm going to name this as football clubs. And, and over here, I'm going to name this as the financial year. And I'm going to name this as perhaps currency. Okay. So we do have students from India. So you can put INR, Indian rupees. If you are from Malaysia, you can put RM, Ringgit Malaysia. Okay. And then the next step is I go to home. Can you see close and load icon over here? If you can see close and load icon, maybe you can click uh, type number nine in the chat box. Okay. So close and load icon. So what I do is I just click the close and load icon. So the moment I click close and load, you will notice that this is your data all right so for those who want to ma massage the data okay massage or prepare you notice that initially this is your data that means you have the column you have all the years presented in five different separate columns but over here it's on a three different columns do you notice some difference if you notice some difference maybe you can type yes in the chat box 